Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be making a floating market and this was totally inspired by a few pictures that I saw in Thailand, I believe they were. Um, there's floating markets all over the world but the ones I was looking at were mainly based in Thailand and then I just put more of a bit of a tropical twist on it because this is built in salami. I thought it was perfect to build in salami because the water's already there and it'll fit in better rather than creating a lake in the middle of a lot. I made this a generic lot so you can make it whatever you like. There is one little issue, um, I'll come to it a little bit later on when downloading from the gallery, um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll talk about it when it comes to the actual items that I've put down. So I've got a little bit separate over here and my idea is, is there's a little bar and that's the top left building there and there's a little boat that takes you across to there and you can sit out and look into the sunset and watch over the ocean and have a drink. Um, so yeah, I put a little dock in this area. Your sims can just swim and climb up it. And that main building there, I don't know why my footage disappeared for it, but I made a little like cupcake um, cupcake cafe I'll say and sort of a souvenir shop and then these two little buildings here both have the little canteen thing in from dine out so your sims can get food from here and then there's just little stalls dotted around as well so I had really good fun creating this um, I am still in the middle of building my New Orleans my new quest to New Orleans but I'm getting really stressed out with it so I took a break to do something a little bit more creative and something where I'm not limiting myself I'm just doing whatever I like and so yeah I had fun making this I got a little bit of stress towards the end because of the new patch update obviously since high school years is coming out and the high school and the patch update it comes out the day before and it messed everything up because of the debug items so this is what I mean, you can see all those tomatoes in the baskets there and the eggs and there is more as well. If you don't have the mod, um, what it's called, is it better, like, is it better build by? It's a debug mod that is by Twisted Mexi and it just helps with the debug items, you don't have to put the cheat in or anything. If you don't have that, these items won't show up. It is just tomatoes, apples, and a few other like vegetable items. Everything else will still be in the game. Um, I think like here, the pumpkin still will show up, but I think the aubergines and the watermelons, I don't think they will show up. So it's nothing major, it's just a few items might be missing. The only thing is, these are the items that took me absolutely hours to put down, because I did use tool mod to place everything slightly differently like I rotated things slightly, scaled things slightly different size um, yeah I had good fun doing it though like I don't really use tool mod that often I normally use it for really small things but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and get a bit more used to using it because it is good fun with what you can do for it so yeah I think the lobsters still show up I believe they do I think it is just more like the vegetable items that don't show up I also created this boat full of flowers and again I used tool mod for that but they do show up even if you don't have the debug thing. These don't show up so the lettuces and the apples and the onions, the baskets and everything will still be there, just the items in the basket there won't show up. So apologies for that if you don't have that mod, I know not everyone has access to mods especially if you're on console. Uh, but it's only a few little things like here as well, the pineapples and coconuts won't show up either but you'll still get the rest of the items that you see around the, the lot. So yeah, I just tried to add as much stuff as I possibly could because when I'm looking at these markets, they were quite cluttered and they had a lot of people and it, they all look really, really stunning. I'd love to go to one. Let me know if you've ever been to a floating market and what is it like? Because like I said, I really want to go. It'd be really cool to see one in real life because I don't think there's one in the UK. I don't think it'd be quite the same as going to somewhere like Thailand to see something. So this is a little bar, like I said, it's joined, not joined, there's a boat coming up here, which in theory is supposed to bring your sims across to here, but obviously it doesn't really because it can't be done, but your sims can't just swim across. 
And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.